Groovy. All right. So we got a tall guy, Mike, and, I, and he's big, and I'm not going to hit him. He munch me. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. So golf ball. Now, if I stand on this 56-degree wedge, that loft, 56 degrees, will go right up over his head. Easy peasy. Hold your arm out for me, mister. Now, 56 degrees delivered with a spinny strike goes under that. Right? You can relax now. So why do I know I'm not going to hit him in his bicep to hurt and hurt him? Because, guys, this golf club, when I change direction, you see that little white stuff right there? Mm -hmm. That's skin on a golf ball. I don't even have to hit it hard to take some of the, because these rusties are very, very grippy, especially if you keep them clean. And you got to keep your clubs clean when you're around the green, okay? Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it does. Now, when I change direction, fellas, this club resists changing direction. So what does it do to my hands? Puts this little wee stress in there, doesn't it? You with me? You get it? Okay. So when I change direction, and I'm on my, I could take my beer can here. And I could fit my training aid right there. Now, whoop, my training aid fell off. So now when I'm hitting these little shots, guys, I'm not going, my pressure is kind of on this foot. I'm going to change direction. So it's on the beer can, it's not coming off. I'm going to squeeze the beer can even a bit more as I unwind. This weight doesn't want to go that way. It puts a little stress into, the, into my hands. Now I deliver what started here, guys, is delivered there, isn't it? So I just took about 15 degrees aloft off this 56 degree club. So there's 56 minus 15, 41. Okay, that's as good as I get at math. Now, why does it launch even lower than that? Clean metal touching the skin of a golf ball creates this grippy situation. That's what puts the heavy duty spin on the ball. And add in the fact that this is an inclined circle traveling downward, clean grip on the ball to the grass after the ball, you get a low flighted spinner. The one that goes on there and goes, er, er, stops. This is why people can't. They stay here head down. They get a bit of degree, debris before they hit the ball. What is the grass made out of? Bags of water, moisture. You moisturize the face. You, it's ball pops up. It might go high and come down with a steep landing angle and kind of stay where you want it to stay anyway, but it's not a really grippy spinner. Does that make sense, guys? So keys to this, beer can, okay? We're on this beer can. When we waggle, we're ready. We're making noise in our beer, beer can. In my backswing, there's not a, I'm not taking pressure off the beer can. I'm turning, there's pressure angled into my right leg, but not on top of my right leg. Does that make sense? Angled. You did great yesterday learning how to straighten your right leg a little bit. Now I put more pressure into the beer can and I have this swingy sensation, may I? So you guys, with your educator now, there's stingers and there's swingers. So swingers look like this. Swingers are, I can see a bit of the right side of my educator, black side. This is a club that's hinging up and down, energy. So I'm going to rotate pressure to my angled right leg, not really taking off my here very much. I don't mind if a heel comes up a little, but not ever relocating inward. So this can hinge can hinge up, can hinge down, and can hinge up and slow down. And so this is the swinger versus the stinger. See my point, guys? Stingers have a place, swingers have a place. You gotta kinda know them both. Questions or shall we just do it? Let's do it. Here you go. Yeah, it'll go to one o'clock on your golf club. I'll help you, buddy. Just get it done quicker. Turn that on there, loosen that bolt on the top a little bit. Always retighten that top bolt so it doesn't fall out. One o'clock, just to the right of 12 o'clock, yeah. Good, and this is where, now we're at a dress, we can butt our pinky finger right up to the clamp. We can feel this glide upper arm, undo itself, glide upper arm, and we're trying to avoid all the Elvis Presley fancy footwork, okay? Simple pressure on the lead side. OK, 
Okay, nice. So see how, e how far that goes for, for you? Now it's like power galore, are you with me? Put up another ball. Okay, get this golf ball just left to center in your stance. Okay, do me a favor, stand on your beer can for me. Right in the middle of your left foot. Perfect, should close up on there, good. Get that golf ball left center in your stance. And give me a wider stance, a little wider. Beautiful, good. Now I want a quiet beer can as you swing this thing. Oh, stop it. Stop it, okay? Pin seeking missile. Easy peasy, right? None of this moving around. Now, well, you, you probably think you're living here all day, but you've got the right amount of swing, right amount of angular pressure, bit more pressure into the can, boom. Feel good? Feels good. Atta boy, looks great. Feel like I'm swinging less, like not as hard as I used to, and gripping it lighter. And hitting it harder. Hitting it farther. You are, because now you're not, like you were, Pretty good looking swings, but it was too much here, and you you know you weren't you weren't centered enough for a bit more reliability, you know. And so that's an attaboy, Bryce. Hey gang, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Remember, hit the like button. If you're not a member, click subscribe and share it with your friends. And don't forget, we got a lot of elevated, awesome content at TS Plus. You can check out that link below.